Hello guys, this is Ahmed back again with another video. Today I am going to show you how to do FDM dual color 3D printing and how to process your model with Equip or software for dual color printing and how to find free models for dual color printing from the internet and I will show you some websites link and how to use them. So let's move on. Watch the video till the end. First of all open your Equip or software by double clicking. If you don't have the software Please install the software from your SD card and download it from our official website. So let's download the software from our website and install it. So as you can see this is our official website www.ecubemaker.com. So you can visit this website to download the software and go to the support section and click on download section to download the software. So as you can see scroll down and this is the equip ir 4.2.0 so this version is the latest version till now maybe in the future we will update the software please stay connected with our facebook and youtube to get the latest news and latest videos and let's click download to download the software and download is started please wait until it's finished the download download is done so let's open i have already downloaded a similar version so i will delete this one so let's extract the file extract file because this is a zip file so you need to extract it and then open this one and then i will double click it to install the software wait okay click next and in this place you need to select the directory click next ecube ir next and next please wait when it's installing the software it shows that now it's extracting so wait the installation is completed so as you can see it says that completing equip or setup so finish and it will run so this is the equip or software as you can see from here this is the 4.2.0 versions and this is the default state of our equip or software in the default state the software is in FDM single printing mode as we are going to do the FDM dual color so we need to change the software to dual color mode so we will change the software from here to DIY 4 in 1 and FDM dual tool head select this one and wait around 2 to 3 seconds to see the change as you can see it's written that toy DIY 4-in-1 FDM dual tool head and extruder 1 and extruder 2 is visible here. So now we need to import a file that we wanted to print. So as I have told you earlier in this video that we will show how to download free models for dual color print. So let's see. Here is some website addresses. You can take a note and visit later. So for this time I will only visit the things givers. because they are really famous for the 3D printing so this is the dual color so you go to the things givers and search dual color you will find a lot of dual color models so we will click it we will download all files so for this website it is better that you sign in and download the model downloading this is the model that we have download and extract file so it's extracted 
this is the file we have already downloaded and extract the model stl file so let's open that and we will select these two so it's selected let's click open these two file and when i click the left mouse button and then you will see that three axis is visible and then right click to the mouse button and select this one as a extruder one so this one depends on that which extruder you wanted to select for this color so if you wanted to make this color is red then you need to insert the filament into the extruder one and select this one okay extruder one we already selected and let's click here so as you can see is the similar the three axis is visible and then right click to the mouse and select is as extruder 2 okay so we already select this two don't confuse about the color because this color you can change from the settings this color doesn't mean that your original printing color so original printing color is actually depends on your filament that you insert it into the extruder so from this extruder as you can see extruder 2 is red and is yellow so by the default the both side will be yellows but we i already changed this one so you can also change the color for your own purpose so as you can see click the extruder and click the customs color and manage materials and then you can change the color so let's open it to the green and and that's it so as you can see right now is green and you can see that both color okay so let's move on to the next then you click to the platform and left click of your mouse and select all models and all the models is selected as you can see and click again and merge model okay so as you can see this model is merged right now so we can see this cone is completed and it's dual color now we will customize the size and other things that we need to process so let's customize the size because it's too small so let's make it to 80 okay so right now is 80 millimeter so as you can see it's uniform scaling this one is selected so if you change here then other side is other axis will also be changed with this one with this value so it's like this so and now we will move it to the middle so let's make it to zero also this is for the axis and let's make it to the zero also uh, okay so now it is in the middle okay so you can move the model and move the workbench by right clicking of your mouse and you can also zoom in with your mouse wheel okay so let's select and you can also rotate the model from this axis click here then drag it down and drag it up and this one is for the mirror okay so we almost done our processing from this place you can change the infill density but usually you don't need to change this one if you have some complex model that needs support then please click general support otherwise you will face the overhang issue but in this print we don't need to select any support so i didn't select it so for the support you can also try that if you if i click here as you can see you can also see the extruder 1 and extruder 2 so you can also select the extruder and which part of your print you need to select the support you can also select from here so i deselect it again because i don't need it okay so we almost done so let's click slicing and later we will see the model in layer view okay slicing is done it shows that 5 hours and 51 minutes and the filament it will consume you will see from this place the how many gram of filament you need okay so let's click here to the layer view because we wanted to see that how it will print how it will be like this and as you can see this is the layer view. you can see every layer of printing that how it will print so in our print it's everything is fine 
and if you see this kind of small dots or these lines so it means that the print will move it to this side and change the color because our fdm dual tool head is a two in one hour technology so it will go back to the filament tray and change the color and back again so this is the path so let's back to the solid view and we already sliced so we will uh, save the file with a name and don't forget to put a english name if you change it to a any other name rather than the english the file will not be recognized by the machine so make sure that you use a english name so we select this one so we already select the file and now we will take this file to our sd card and move on to the machine step so that we can show you how to do the final step and do the printing let's move on hello guys we already processed the stl model with our equip OS software as you can already see so now we will prepare the toy diy 4-in-1 for dual color printing we already taken the model to our sd card now we will prepare the machine let's go first we will remove the tool head mounting screw from the tool head fixation seat and we already remove it now we will install the fdm dual color tool head as you can see this is have the two port for filament this is the mounting slot for the tool head so we will just connect this slot with this fixation seat and press it down like this and then fix the tool head with the mounting screw don't forget to use this mounting screw otherwise you will have some printing issues so don't forget and we already fix it now we will connect this tool head wire with the tool head and then press it down like this and now we will connect the filament tube inside the tool head port like this and when you insert the filament tube inside the tool head make sure that you push it at the very end otherwise you will have the jamming issues so make sure that you push it until the end and it's around four centimeter inside so that's it so next move on to the next step now we will insert the filament into the extruder now we will put the filament into the extruder and both extruder because we are doing the dual color to dual color printing so this is the extruder one up and this is the extruder 2 down so we will use the extruder one with the orange color so let's press this tool head block up and then push the filament into the extruder hole so we are pressing this one up and at the same time push the filament inside the hole extruder hole so <coughs> do like this okay and for the, the extruder 2 is also the same make sure that your filament starting point is very smooth otherwise it will not get inside the extruder so make sure that you can break some part and then reinsert it so for this one also we will press this one up extruder block up and then press the filament inside the filament tube so for the extruder 2 we are using the green color It's done. Yeah, another thing you need to make sure that when you are inserting the filament, you need to make sure that you insert the filament at least one centimeter up from the tool head board. So I will show you. You can see from here. When you insert the filament into the filament tube and you make sure that you push the filament into the filament tube at least one centimeter up from the, the tool head port so as you can see this is the tool head port so you need to make at least one centimeter up and for these two filament tube same distance so as you can see from our filament is right now at this point and this one is at this point so it's almost one centimeter up so otherwise dual color printing maybe you will face the jamming issue so make sure that you place the filament into at least one centimeter up from the tool head port we already installed the filament into the extruder and connect the tool head now we will connect the machine to the power this is the power cord so we will connect this one it's connected now we will insert the sd card and start the printing let's go so as we already have installed the magnetic bed with our platform so if you don't install it already so you can install it and then we will turn on the machine so press this power switch and as you can see this handle light and the screen light is lighting up as you can see from the menu that right now it's in fdm 3d printer mode so if in your case it's not fdm 3d printer mode then you can change it from the utility and 
go to your change tool header and change to FDM tool head and follow the instructions. So in our case, it's already FDM 3D printer mode, so we don't need to change. So go to print from SD, then we can print. So now we will insert the SD card. We have put the file into our SD card already, so we will just insert the SD card into the SD card slot and then go to the print from SD and then select the file so this is the file that we have processed so click this one and the printing is started after selecting the file for printing operation the running state step of the machine is like this first it will return to the zero and auto leveling will be done and then tool head will be hitting and bottom plate will be hitting and then filament will be discharging from the tool head after that the tool head will start printing so this is the full operation and this series of operation will done automatically without any manual intervention so just click the so just click the print from sd and observe the whole process We have already finished the printing as you can see from here this is the final print that we have done thank you so much for watching if you have any question with your print or any other issues please contact us through our facebook page facebook group or our email for support and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get up to date with our new videos thank you so much again bye bye